Hey guys, welcome to Get Better Products on Saturday, April 9th. The level one workout for today is every two minutes for 18 minutes, where station number one is 20 walking lunges, station number two is 10 dumbbell cleaning jerks, or two to four foot, two footer jumps, station number three is 30 second flick on elbows. So we saw this one a few weeks ago and it was requested to be a repeat. So we're gonna bring this guy back. And I thought it was a good workout as well. We did it in the campground. The way that I'm gonna approach this one is just trying to bust through those lunges quickly because if you get them done in like 40 seconds, 45 seconds, you have more than a minute rest there. The dumbbell cleaning jerks were the part that were the sticky thing for me. So you wanna make sure that the weight is heavy enough that they are difficult, but you probably still do them unbroken just barely. And then the planks are just kind of getting in the way, but they get a, a lot of rest for you as you're going into the next minute. If you have any questions about this one, let me know, have fun. For walking lunges, there are a couple things that you wanna make sure that you're thinking about as you're doing the walking lunges. The first thing is that you're gonna take a nice big step out. And what this is gonna do, or what your, our goal here, is keeping the knee in the direction of the toe or slightly to the outside. Then we're gonna drop down with this back leg, trying to create a 90 degree angle at the front knee and the back knee. So if we take a look from the side, it's gonna look just like this. We've got 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. And then the weight is gonna be on the heel of this front foot. So we'd almost flutter the toes in order to keep the weight on the heel. The important thing about keeping the weight on the heel is that it puts pressure on the glutes or it adds the, to the contractile ability of the glutes and keeps the knees safe. Because if we have a tendency to step forward on this foot and then go onto the toe here, it puts pressure onto our knee and our kneecap area, which we want to avoid for the longevity of that particular joint. Not to mention this glute muscle here is our big prime mover that we wanna activate any time that we can. So if we're gonna be doing a multiple walking lunges, we're gonna take a nice big step, creating 90 degree, 90 degree, pointing in the direction of our toe, driving through the heel of this front foot, coming up and switching to the next side, and then continuing on from this side is the same thing, just going back and forth. If you have any questions about that, let me know, have fun. For the dumbbell cleaning jerk, we're going to set up in a similar position as a deadlift. The weights are gonna be at our sides, over the sides of our feet. Weight's gonna be on the heels. We're gonna hinge over just like a deadlift to start with. And we're actually gonna pull the weight pretty slow to our knees, so to our knees, and then we're gonna jump it into our front rack position and we catch in this slight squat. Then we're gonna drive through our heels with our knees pointed to the outside of our toes to push the weight up overhead, but I'm gonna catch it again in this slight squat and then stand up. And I'll come back down, return the weight to the ground, one dumbbell head, and then do the repeated process until I'm either too tired or am done with that particular movement. The tricky thing is actually gonna be, number one, the catch here. So our, we're pulling the dumbbell up and we're catching it at our front rack position here. Then from here, we drive immediately through our heels, driving and pressing the weight up. So we come to extension, but we drop underneath, to make it easier to catch here. And then we extend up overhead to complete the rep. There you have it. All of the form applies that we're working on for deadlifts and squats and all that other stuff, where we're trying to keep our back flat and we're picking the dumbbell up to here and then we're thrusting our hips and we're catching in the semi-squat position, same squat form technique. My feet might be a little bit closer together than, than the squat. Then we're going to drive up, catching here again, flat back, and then standing up. And then repeating that process as we go down, which is something that can tend to fail or fall apart as you go down. But hold all those positions, send us videos if you need to. We'd love to review them. For the five to six foot, two footed jumps, you're going to essentially measure out five to six feet or whatever feels like it's a good challenge for you. And you're gonna take that same, you're gonna take a, a same position that's like your running form. So your feet are gonna be underneath your hips. You're gonna be in a great postural position with your shoulders back and your chest up. You're gonna swing your arms back and then you're going to throw your arms forward and let your momentum carry you in that direction as you explode with your hips. So you're gonna back, forward, catch, turn around, and repeat. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you hit the ground, you let the knees bend, the knees kinda of go to the, out, to the outside. That puts the force up into the glutes, rather than being very rigid and keeping the force in the joints, and you do not want, want that. 
So you're gonna take one jump, turn around, take another jump, and repeat that process, jumping off two feet, trying to use your arms as momentum, and keeping your back flat, hinging at your hips. All the th same things that we talk about for all of the other movements, they all apply to all of these things. For planks on your elbows, you're going to find a place to put your elbows that are not going to abuse them. You're going to put yourself down, hands on the ground, elbows onto the ground. Then you're going to make a straight line from your shoulders down to your ankles. Then you're going to squeeze your glutes and you're going to squeeze your abs. And you're going to try and take full deep breaths as you're holding yourself in this plank position. So your abs should be nice and tight and your body should just be staying here and breathing through this movement. That's the workout for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Log your scores and sugar wide, and we'll see you on the next workout.